It's Tuesday morning. There was no footage yesterday. Adam was at college. I drove to Nottingham to go and pick a van vault up for a video. I am in scale of pain to work ratio. Pain is way more than it's good, it should be. I don't even know what I'm getting at here. Just put you into the average Damn. scale. I mean, honestly, guys, I, uh, I went to the doctor's la yesterday. I finally had enough of the chiropractor, bless her. I do think I have a few messages on the last video. Do you think it's a waste of money? Uh, I never really believed in it, but then I went three or four times tonight. It actually worked, didn't it? Yeah, it started. And then I picked that massive power bank up and... Uh, <laughs> All downhill. But then the past four days, I don't know why. We've tried to have a chat this morning of why it hurts so much. No reason, no idea. It's just flared up to the point where it even hurts to walk now. It hurts to sit in the van. It hurts to do anything. It hurts to breathe. So I went to the doctor's last night. Um, she referred me to go and get an MRI scan finally to see if it's a disc, if it's muscular, if it's a bloody tumour, I don't know. Uh, my dad had a disease called PMR, polyrheumatica myalgia probably butchered that and my dad had it um, it's a disease that uh, eats the muscle and bone and does lots of horrible things to you um, that you can't get rid of just you have to uh, maintain it with steroid uh, and loads of calcium tablets and dad used to have this calcium tablet that's like that big yeah. and you put it in your mouth and you're super dry like dry mouth so bad <laughs> um, it could be that it could be something arthritis she said rhythmic arthritis which is not like old age arthritis it's like anyone can get it um could be a number of things from my blood test done all that sort of stuff um but that's not going to be for weeks upon weeks and i've been given painkillers all in my pocket yeah I'd... probably should share that one there do you want some why on the youtube do you for that what the praxin no yeah it'd be like substances or whatever even though it's, it's med medical yeah even though it's medical all right well i've had some painkillers which are here um and just to manage it for a bit, but no, I mean, utter pain. And annoyingly, the job we're at, which is here, is God, I thought it completely turned off. Um, you talk to there is how many speed bumps? I think it was a million, wasn't it? Yeah, about a million speed bumps. Not here, so and uh, the road rose closed, so we had to reverse all the speed bumps. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna try and do a bit today, but to be completely honest, I'm probably gonna get a couple of hours in and get Adam. We're going home. So we need to drop the van vault off the, in the back of the unit. We need to, to get some stuff. Yeah, tomorrow we're doing... Um, a guy's bought a new caravan. Put a caravan hook up outside his house. A little board, that sort of stuff. Uh, so, yeah. I feel sorry for me, guys. Adam doesn't. See what you just uh, Did you just swear that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don't. <sighs> just recording loads of stuff and didn't work um it's 11 o'clock the only thing that's happened is we took tools out we've walked around i've bent down those because the ceilings are this high i moan constantly to adam and he's just put the tools back in the van um it's just getting worse and worse and worse it's pointless ex like hurt myself too much today because we've got stuff booked in tomorrow this job is sort of hit and misses and when we can do stuff and when we don't let's just check if it was recording again then so we're gonna go back to the unit we had a chat this morning we're gonna strip some cable put some music on Get a butty van when that comes around if we make it back in time and just try and make some of the day and get a bit of footage rather than just hurt myself more and then not go to work. Listen, if I do this today, and I might not be at work for the next two days. Yeah. So Adam's not quite there yet to send it himself. I know I could leave you here and I know I could send you to the job tomorrow and I know you could do it all perfectly safely and happy, but you haven't got that tick yet. That's all it is. Yeah, tick in the box. So things will change. So we will, we'll see, but I'll see you back at the unit. Right, we're in the unit. This is out. This is out, that is out for another video. We've got the copper out. What we're gonna do is recreate the same video I did probably a year and a half ago when I bought the cable stripper. Is it worth stripping copper cable compared to just weighing it in? If you've got spare time in the evening, if you've got a weekend, if you wanna do, some people do it with their kids and whatnot. Um, do you wanna spend the time doing it? Is it worth it? Uh, I got the in-depth of it last time. We'll do it briefly. Through this video at the moment as you can see on here bright copper is worth six pound 20 per kilo and pvc wire which is household cable it's worth one pound 90 per kilo so behind me we've got a tub full of exactly 10 kg and we've took out the weight of the chain and also the bucket of pvc cable most of this is bigger stuff i wouldn't recommend stripping anything what below six mil yeah four mil to 2.5 to 1.5 i wouldn't bother it's too much fat and it's too much hassle 
for this anyway. If you want to do it by hand, you might get a better system. Uh, but we're doing everything from 25 mil. We've got a bit of armored. We've got 16 mil earth. We've got a lot of 16 mil tails, a lot of 25 mil tails. Uh, we're going to strip all of this down in the video, but we're going to record doing that. So at the moment in that bucket there, with 10 kgs worth at £1.90, we have how much? 19 pounds. Well done, Adam. Good. Well done, mate. I'll get your lollipop. Uh, there's 19 pounds worth of stuff in there, but we know if we were to buy that cable from the wholesale, obviously a full length, it'd be worth way more than 19 pound. So we're going to weigh that. We're going to strip it. I'm going to weigh that. So we're going to strip that. I'll show you the machine works. This was brought off eBay. I will put the link for it. This was around about 300 pound when I bought it. So then downside, it's got a very short lead on it. Um, that spins around. You find the appropriate hole that you need to fill it through. You meant to use the on and off button, but emergency stop works better. Obviously, this is your different cable sizes. You do need to alter it by twisting these. It drops the, uh, the blades up and down a little bit so you can get the sweet spot that you need. What happens if it's too high? It just about scores the top of the insulation. Too low, this then happens. You end up scoring within to the copper itself and it becomes like little tiny needles everywhere, which we don't want. That's why we're wearing the gloves. These are gloves from Ansel. These are the Hyflex. Show them out. Beautiful. You might have seen these in the past couple of videos. We've been sent them, been wearing them a lot. I highly recommend from someone that doesn't wear gloves because of my hands, my skin condition. I sweat too much, my skin falls off. I don't get that with these. So I'll show you in a bit. We overslept. <sighs> Alrighty then. The thing is, I don't really, I've said before, I don't really care. It's, I'm not very well. I'm with us, I've been ill for the past few days. Cough, cold, done a COVID test, not COVID, and all that sort of stuff. And I woke up this morning, you know, you, <coughs> what's that? What's that feeling? Oh, now I'm ill as well. So uh, we've got a caravan hook-up point to do. He's picking the caravan on, on Saturday, to my knowledge. Um, it's not brand new, but second he showed me. It's very nice. I'm not a caravan person, but it is nice. Uh, so we're going to do that, and um, I'm probably going to get a standalone video on it. We bought some Copex. We bought some Flexicom. We bought some bits and bobs just to make it look a bit more fancy. So uh, I'll show you in a little bit. All right, Adam's here now. Say hi. Um, we just asked permission, but he said no, which is a rare occurrence for us, doesn't want us filming in the house, so that's fine. Um, we'll get the job done and then we'll report back afterwards, but no means no. Isn't it, Adam? Yeah. No means no. Right, it's nearly 12 o'clock. It, it, well, it's 11.36. Adam is, I've just allowed him to have the rest of the day off, which he's about to race past me. You can give him a wave in a second. Let me get my prom cocktail crisps out the way. Here he is. So um, that's all done. I'll put a picture on the screen now. We made sure we put some Copex on it, or Flex, whatever you want to call it, just to make it look at that a little bit nicer. Um, a cup of thumb, which is there, which I won't show you too much because YouTube will that. But I have got to go. So all this is the paperwork that I've got to go and have my blood done at the hospital. So sort of booked in this afternoon, uh, where it's quieter during the day. I'm going to get my blood taken at the hospital, all to do with my bad back. I'm pilled up today. I've had naproxen, I've had it, the thing that you take with it, paracetamol, and um, it does feel a bit better today, but I've not been crouching down and picking stuff up, so which is a bit nicer. I'll get my blood's done, I'll see if I can take a video of it, but I probably won't be able to put it on YouTube either, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. It's Thursday morning, Adam wasn't late today because I picked him up. There's no answer to Dunlop. Just nod in silence, eat your sausage roll, it's fine. Um, apologies to everyone, I'm spamming YouTube with YouTube Shorts. We're trying to, like I've said earlier, last week's uh, weekly video, trying to up the game a little bit. If you don't like them, just don't watch them. I'm really sorry, but you will be notified that it's a short from YouTube, so don't watch it. Uh, CGR has overtaken me, which I thought he would happen, I thought what would happen to do. I can't even speak, Adam. I thought that's what would happen. I'd like this. Yeah. Like, wipe the tears away. Um, but Chris has done... I think he did about 15 or 20 YouTube shorts within the period of a week. And some of them did really well. He caught me up, he's overtook me. Well, play, well done, Chris. We had a bit of a conversation the other day. There's lots of swear words thrown around, but it's fine. Um, but I'm trying to uh, step out of the, the boundaries of the norm we do. We're still going to do three videos a week for as long as we physically can. A weekly one, which is this one. Two normal ones in the week. Uh, today will be an individual one and tomorrow. Um, so we're doing the kitchen in here today. We've finally been given the kitchen plans. Um, the bills will come in a second to clear all that stuff out. 
Back's feeling a bit better today. I think the, the proxin and some other stuff that I've been given is starting to take effect a little bit. It's, it's sort of loosened up, the swelling's gone down, the heat's gone down on it as well. Had the blood test done obviously yesterday. So we'll, we'll see what happens with all that. Um, this is all dead. I'm gonna cut it all out, but I've been given the kitchen plans. The kitchen is only going across here. Uh, there's no wall units, it's just an extractor to go in. We brought ring in, all everything's upstairs. We've got a ring main in, we've got six more for the cooker. We've got lighting drops already in for the wall lights, which you can see, and just top it off as well. Um, got the switch in, we need to chase everything because we didn't know where stuff was going. And we're also gonna run an LED, uh, a feed under here to do an LED tape on the underside, just to light that up. So that's the day's job. I then had a phone call last night. I these, ah. <laughs> just had a, a phone call from an estate agent in Stone, which is the next town over from us, uh, late last night. Electrician had van problems or whatever, failed the MOT. So um, they need an EICR doing either today or tomorrow for a tenant moving in on Friday. So I said, yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. We're not gonna be here all day just doing this. Uh, we'll nip back on the way back, bit the keys up, go and do an EICR. My Meg is actually playing up, which we think it's the Leeds, don't we, Mr Dunlop? Um, which is bizarre because we did some testing yesterday on that uh, caravan outlet we did. Uh, I was getting a ZE of 0.448, which is ridiculous because it's a, almost a brand new supply in. It's a PME system. It shouldn't be nowhere near like that. We tested it on yours and it turned out to be... 0.06, wasn't it? So there's a big, I did think there was something wrong the other day when we used it and I compared it along with Dave's. Um, even my old tester, which is the 1502, was getting better readings, but I think it's the leads. So yeah, also as well, I keep putting stuff on Instagram um, because we can. And I need to start using all my platforms rather than just mainly focus on YouTube. But every single notification I get, other than if I mute everything, if I've just put that reel on, just as a little funny thing with Adam sweeping up, which you've probably already seen because I posted it on YouTube as well. Um, the other day I got a thousand likes on something and my phone buzzed a thousand times. I ended up muting it, but so you know how to unmute sure it. Your phone. Careful boy. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll jump back through the ICR later on. I haven't got permission or haven't asked yet to do any ICR to film, but we'll ask a little bit later on. I'm gonna crack on with this. So we'll see you shortly. Right guys and girls and everyone else. It is half past two. We finished it, the Utoxita job for today. We've got as much as we could do. We've got as much could as do. we could do done. Yep. Um, but it was EICR time now. So I've got the keys from the estate agents here. The lady is really nice, bless her. And I realise she knows me. Ah, uh, you know, with awkward situation, I can't for the life of me think who it is or I didn't even get a name. Like I can't even get, oh, I'll look at my phone or Google or Facebook or whatever. I'll have to ask in a little bit, but she seems really nice. And she says I was lovely too, which is, always counts. Um, then she asked me what I'm charging for this. And I said, I don't know, because we have been slightly screwed over before with the ICIs having fixed prices on per bedroom properties. But realistically, it all boils down to how many ways are on a fuse board, how many circuits. So you charge away per circuit. I said to him, and I explained the situation. I said, I've turned up to a one bedroom flat before and there's been 10 circuits because there's been um yeah. yeah we've got economy seven stuff we've got um normal heated radial circuits we've then got three lighting circuits for no reason on one floor like and, silly, smokes. and smokes like yeah. all of a sudden for you charging let's say 100 quid for a one bedroom flat then turns into belt by pen and paper 260 pound eicr because you've got to do the test multiple times so word of advice if you're doing eicrs and we've done it a lot of times uh, through youtube and face facebook <laughs> when i said that is get someone to send a picture of their fuse board or the circuits, but it doesn't always count because obviously circuits can be doubled up or tripled up inside the board. It's sometimes quadrupled or, what's, what's five times? Quadruple. Five times the circuit, anyway, let's go inside. All right, it's nearly five o'clock. We need to hurry up because we need to get back to the estate agents and give them their stuff back. Um, weird one, look at this, right. Main head, tails out, meter, Kenley block, blah, blah, blah. But then you've got tails coming out the bottom of this, going through to what looks like next door. Don't know. I only presume that it's a loop of feed in and it's a loop supply to next door and their board is in the same place. We've tried knocking on next door, no one's answering because they're just interested to have a look really. But no luck. Uh, the house has, uh, it's an unsatisfactory, you've got broken ring, 
you've got most light fittings that are all in there. Go on, what's the, the tablets here, dude? Oh, sorry. I, I, I'll do it in a sec. Um, the lights are all been chop blocked and taped up, all class two fittings. You've got wood screws in that socket over there. Uh, the loft is being halfway first fixed. Someone's moving in tomorrow and there's single insulation hanging out of everything. Like Anyway, um, we'll get this done and then I'll just recap tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Adam, say goodbye. Bye, I'm about to cough. <laughs> guys, it's Friday. It's about one o'clock. We're over in Nuneaton. Um, we've done a few things in the kitchen, did a video on that. But what I need to do is go across and get a ring doorbell. Do, 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 do. So this is the board that we did, if you remember, with Dave Savory, here and here. But I've got a ring doorbell to go in, the transformer. So what I'm gonna have to do is just shift a few things over, put that in there. Uh, I've done it before on a video where we put the transformer in there. We had people spouting off a bit saying about having, um, about having uh, like cell in a fuse board. So obviously 12 volt cables across with 240, which I get. Uh, but the way around that was they said if we put some heat shrink on it, it's a double inch layer, that sort of thing. So we need a dual way. We'll just split, uh, switch these ones over here. We'll double up on one of these line circuits to do the feed in and obviously the feed out, which is there. The problem is it's going out the front of the door. This is an extension on the side. Everything has been finished and decorated within the property. I need to get the cable from here across the front door, which is there. Um, I'll run you around there. So the board is around about here and I need to get it through here. Sorry, it's extremely bright. I was thinking about drilling through on the angle because this is all getting ready. This has been like this for nearly, well, March we did this. This is getting overboarded. So I can either drill it straight through and bring it across, which I really, really, really don't want to miss and damage any of this because it is an extreme angle. Like the board's here and I need to get it through here. So it's already like, if he's trying to do that. What I'm gonna try and do is feed it up into the board, into the loft space, across that loft space and bring it down here and then run it back, bring it through, clip it down and drill it through. That's the plan. So I thought I might as well film it for you guys so you can watch me sweat. Um, I've got the boards up above, so we can easily feed the cable up. One of the cables then goes across. It's been drilled through into this loft void, which you can go here. This has actually been double boarded because it was a flat roof. So that bit there is actually, uh, when I cut it with the hole saw, it was um, felt, but then they put a big lean-to on top of the roof as well. So I need to try and get the camera in to see if I can feed it directly through into that joist, because I remember, oh, did I do that? You can see where I've notched it out. Did I drill it through there? Oh, I can't remember. If I can bring it up and over, great. If not, we're gonna end up drilling but I'm going to try and do this bit first before I drill it, so come on for the journey, I suppose. Looks like we're drilling it, guys, because it's blocked off completely, not only. And I think this height is a different height to, from what I can remember in that room, so let's get the drill out then. All right, so my wall thickness is, oh Christ, 13 centimetres, give or take, to over there. And the wood distance I want to get to the other side of this pillar is 400 ish so I need to drill through here on an angle like this I don't know why I'm measuring it <laughs> just just go for it bro right um that's my weapon of choice it's the thinnest one I've got but unfortunately it's six meters long right actually I'm running out of battery for today because my thing is on flat I've not been round and I promise how do you do the club? How do you do the, anyway? I was trying to do the club scout. Yeah, that's it. Brownie promise or whatever it is. Ooh. Oh, it's not there. Oh yes. A little bit more of an angle. We would have, we would have banged up, but that's fine. It's only bell wire. Okay. Yes. Right, we'll clear all that afterwards. I really should have put mat down thinking about it. Don't be like me guys. Oops. Um, I'll clean all that up. Okay, I can pull that out now. Oh, 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 it's Anne. Who? Who? Hey, Adam, while you're there, mate. 
Um, so what I've done, moved it across, doorbell's gone into the second breaker here. We've put heat shrink, black heat shrink, around the doorbell cable to try and double insulate it to make everybody happy. I do like the idea, it's a good shout. Um, so I'm going to do the other end, but I literally have 2% left, I have no charge, so I'll run you through at the end, okay, bye. We're on, the customer's here, she's going to set it up, and the good thing about that is all the QR codes are in the back of that. Do you run around, Adam, sorted, happy? Yeah, just clean up. So, so last thing we're going to do is, I literally just need to relabel the board. Um, because currently, that's wrong. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. It's been a long week. Got some interesting things happening next week. Like, subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye bye.